Hey, it's Zara. In honor of Pi Day, we're going to be talking about Pi. Pi is a mathematical constant that represents the ratio of the circumference, the distance around the edge of a circle, to its diameter, the distance across a circle through its center. No matter the size of the circle, this ratio remains constant. In other words, if you take any circle and divide its circumference by its diameter, you'll always get the same value, which is approximately 3.14159. Pi is most commonly used in certain computations regarding circles. We can manipulate this formula a bit and we get some more relations. We know that the diameter is 2 times the radius, so pi also equals the circumference c divided by 2 times the radius r. And then we can further solve for the circumference of a circle with a little algebra to get that the circumference is equal to 2 times pi times the radius. Pi not only relates circumference and diameter, it also connects the diameter or radius of a circle with the area of the circle by the following formula. The area is equal to pi times the radius squared. Just to give you a little intuition behind the formula for the area of the circle, imagine the following scenario. You have a circle and divide it into several equal sectors as shown here. We can arrange the pieces as follows. The area of the circle will be equal to that of the parallelogram shaped figure formed by the sectors cut out from the circle. Since the sectors have equal area, each sector will have an equal arc length as well. The shaded sectors will contribute to half of the circumference and the unshaded sectors will contribute to the other half. If the number of sectors cut from the circle is increased, the parallelogram will eventually look like a rectangle with length equal to pi times r and a breadth of r. And then calculating the area gives us pi r times r or pi r squared. Additionally, pi shows up often unexpectedly in many mathematical situations. For example, the sum of the infinite series is equal to pi squared over 6. If you'd like to see me do the proof of this in a future video, please let me know in the comments. Pi is an irrational number, meaning that its decimal form never ends. To only 18 decimal places, pi is 3.14159265. 3589793238 Pi has interested people around the world for over 4000 years. Many mathematicians such as Fibonacci and Newton have toiled over pi in calculating its digits and applied it to numerous areas of mathematics. Early decimal approximations for pi were obtained in a number of different ways. For example, in ancient Babylon, rope stretchers marking the locations of buildings and boundaries estimated pi to be 25 over 8, or 3.125. The ancient Egyptians determined the ratio between 16 over 9 squared, or 3.16. The earliest calculations of pi were largely based on measurement. Archimedes, a Greek mathematician, was the first to use an algorithmic approach to calculate pi. Essentially, Archimedes drew a polygon inside a circle and drew a second polygon outside of the circle. Then he continuously added more and more sides of both polygons, getting closer and closer to the shape of a circle. Having reached a 96-sided polygon, he proved that pi is greater than 223 over 71 and less than 22 over 7. From Archimedes' time, about 250 BCE to the early 1600s, mathematicians in countries around the world used methods similar to Archimedes to estimate pi, with increasing efficiency and accurate results. In 1767, Swiss mathematician Johann Henrik Lambert proved pi is irrational, and in 1882, Ferdinand von Lindenman proved pi is transcendental, which means pi cannot be a solution to a polynomial equation with rational coefficients. This finding is significant because until this point, it was believed that one could construct a square and a circle with equal area, known as squaring the circle. Proving the transcendence of pi showed that this is not possible, and the phrase squaring the circle is now used as a metaphor for trying to do something that is impossible. 
With modern technological advancements, pi has now been calculated to 31 trillion digits. However, only the first 39 digits or so are needed to be able to perform all calculations in our observable universe with virtually no error. Current research efforts on computing more digits of pi and exploring its applications in technologies like quantum computing and cryptography. Advancements in computation and mathematical algorithms continue to push the boundaries of pi's precision and utility, allowing for new discoveries and innovations in science and technology.